Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where due to my insomnia that I'm developing after being half feral and living in the woods and not sleeping well in houses uh, for the last year or so um, and the medication I'm taking um, that for my knee, for the inflammation to a, also on a side effect of insomnia anyway it's like midnight, it's 11, it's 11 o'clock at night so I'm going to try to be a little quieter <laughs> but... What are we doing? We're doing Leviathan. Gotta finish that. I don't know, I always think this year takes so much longer than it actually does. It's emotionally taxing. And I think by this point in the game, when I had played initially, right, like I had been playing for so long and so fast, like trying to get through and like do everything, trying to do everything on the list, that, um, you know, you get to this point with Thessia. And if you've done it like that, like, it's just after bam, 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 like one after the other, boom, 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 and it all just piles up really fast, and you, like, hit a, hit a wall. It's like, I feel like Thessia is, like, the spot where they've designed it for you to hit a wall, essentially. Um, let's go. Find stuff. See if we can't find what we think at this point is potentially... A rogue reaper, which I don't even know if I'd want to do that. <laughs> you know, like I feel like we just get munched. So the system hasn't even really been explored except by probes. It looks like, which is funny because the Kepler Verge is not like that far outside of, um, like it's not near the rim or anything. You know, it's not super remote. You think if whatever it is is hiding, it would be in a more remote location. Signal confirmed. This one has highly likely to have photosynthetic life, is what the thing the jig said. Ooh, there's a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. See, I'm telling you, it wasn't. It, this was not worth it to have that woman probably die with her connection to Leviathan, right? If we found it in like three seconds. Okay, Leviathan. I, I might. Um, actually, I don't think these two can actually come with me. I think, I think I actually do this one on my own, technically. I really want to bring Garrus along, just to, like I feel like as like emotional support Garrus, but these two would have the most vested interest right now in Prothean stuff, even if they're like, kind of like a cat and dog still, I think. I think it wouldn't, they wouldn't necessarily get along yet, but I think they'd be working towards it. Should have gotten the better, a uh, better phalanx upgrade. Oh well. There's my baby. There goes the boy. Cortez, what's the status on the probe? We I look so cool. Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how. uh and helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. It is. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. For you. <laughs> yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Yeah, he might be a liability on this mission, <laughs> technically. Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach Really? You can take the shuttle underwater? Possible. Whoa. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested it. <laughs> yes, we're gonna find His out. His face. Oh. Status! Some kind of pulse hit up! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! 
Oh, we're going down. Oh my gosh. I couldn't even land this out. It's like land is in the water, but we would have drowned probably. We're just gonna pop out instead of staying safer, probably. Everyone all right? I've survived far worse, come That's good, that's good, bud. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look what around. What did we think was gonna look happen? At this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Oh. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Oh, is this like a, potentially like a, oh my gosh, what is it called? Like the, the Bermuda Triangle of, of space? So are these... I thought these were like water ships, but maybe they're actually spaceships that came down into Atmo and got blasted. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I was like, am I supposed to do something? Oh. Uh, what is... Is this a shotgun? Nope. What was that that I just got? The Argus. I like the laser beam. Attenbrooks. The whole will hold is what they say. Whatever God watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful for a lot. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle. What down us in the first place? Kunshin says it wasn't lightning. It was some kind of pulse. A directed energy weapon that seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. And like the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. I'm going to assume all did not go well. <laughs> Seeing as how it's still here. It's a ghost ship, man. This is spooky action. This is, I think, one of the most, like, weather interactive. Um, oh, baby. Weather interactive. Um, Oh my gosh, what you say? Like, uh, missions, right? Where it's like spooky, and we're like, I see it, but I'm gonna go look at other things. Ooh, there's a couple though. Should we break them? Shut up. It's one of the artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. Any oh! Idea how old oh! Are? Old enough not to stink. No, shut up! I was asking the archaeologist, Javik. Which, it's not that old if they're still here in such a rainy environment. Oh, I already, I already took it, technically. Data pad, Shen Kunshan. Attempting to get airborne has failed. Attempts to get airborne every time I failed. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents in the deck. It keeps us biggie busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Yeah, well. Yeah, no. Given how this planet looks like it probably has a lot of sis like storm systems. Oh, up there. Are you Reapers. serious? Right behind us. Are you... Are you actually serious right now? Like, I... I just, I can't... Listen, I'm very upset he's spaghetti. I can't get close to them, so I have to switch. Oh, jeez! No! No, not husks! Not us, not husks! No! Give us some cover fire. Copy that. 
Jeez. Oh, we've got more? Or is he taking them out? That would be super great. What? We have more? Buddy, they were aiming at me the whole time. I'm stuck on this grenade. think there's stuff to pick up so they've got so many artifacts in here Did they have those like before or after I feel like there's just there's things to look at where my companions go are they stuck back here what I better not have seen more Reapers dropping in see the rations will hold us for two days more. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom, and it came with bioluminous and plant light. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Romero and Mullins tried it anyway. They had to stop vomiting, and their dehydration waste fresh water. We sent Kinch's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spears, some kind of... There we go. Some kind of organic-based alien technology, nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they had helped the other ships figure out what had happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. Yeah. No, they probably all got... Like murked. Oopsie. Stuff to get. They all got mind controlled to death. Yeah. And we're just wandering around unshielded because apparently we can't figure out how to do our mysterious shielding technology and make it portable to put on people. Again, I'm just going to reiterate, as far as I know, <laughs> we don't have any actual shielding technology against Reapers, like Reaper indoctrination. Looks like a damaged atlas. Different, though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. It may not be Cerberus technology at all. Regardless, it doesn't work. Yeah, it looks like an atlas, but it's not. Okay. I feel like I've gotten everything I could need. Oh, hey, bud. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. I don't wanna. <laughs> then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. It looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model, military grade, repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. <laughs> well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. Of course. How? Or we could just break it. <laughs> These powered class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. Or we can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Or I could just for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Please just let me break them. You know, I could just do that. Oh, I have to keep coming back? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Oh, if I activate it, it drains. That's cool, that's cool.
hope you guys can actually hold them off. I'm losing track of where I'm supposed to be going. Did I not do it? Ooh, baby. I don't know how long this is actually gonna work. Yeah, we'll bring him back. It's probably a bad idea to go over this way. Ooh, baby. I did it. Ooh. No, it shouldn't. It's a deep sea mech. Run, run. I am dodging like mad. Get in, please get in. Get in. Oh my gosh, <laughs> just get in. Kill enemies. I can do that. Oh, okay, I see. I hate fighting in the mechs. Looks like we're in the clear now, Commander. Alright, I can't. Good. I need to get in the water before they come back. Okay, everybody move. Roger that. Walk the mech back. I'm trying. I'm stuck. I am pushing buttons and it is not happening. What am I not going forward? Oh my gosh, I hate using Max. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. But this plan, even I would hesitate. That means a lot, Javik. We've come too far to stop now. Way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are also go. Cortez has been a hero. As as I can make it. Like he knows, you know what I mean? He's like rattling off all this stuff, like specs about ships that are like old, and like he knows what to do. Like truly, the unsung hero of this mi of this mission is Cortez. Well, let's go. What else am I gonna do? Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. And yeah, going into its environment is a wild, wild thing to do. Testing And it's obviously like, I don't know. Well, I guess there's maybe not fish life down here anyway, but like... It seems like it, it chose maybe this place on purpose. Also, but you would think after a while that there would be messages, right? That there'd be like a history of like ships going missing on this planet. And that, like, a marker would have been put out about it, something? A bulletin? Up, Looks good so far. Copy that. I'm... God, this is so scary. Cortez? Cortez! Also, do you, she didn't even know how to use this thing, and I'm just... Look, I am just... I'm not even on anything. I'm literally just floating down in the blackness of, of, of space of the ocean. It's spooktacular is what it is. Like Shepard's like, listen, I'm I'm okay with space, but Oh, our lights are going. <laughs> oh, the idea of something that big moving in a space I cannot see. But look, I get to see my jellies. Big old jellies. Shepard would be like, oh sick, I'll take these back. <laughs> Put them in my tank. And I'll eat all the other jellyfish. Look at him! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Do you even know Sirius how to get out of here? Only up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. 
I hate that for us. Life support. Emergency systems have come online. I don't like that, you know? Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. And for a way down. Consummate professional, constantly doing a recording even if nobody can hear. You know? <clears throat> Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. That feels like something I should know. <laughs> Shepard, though, she lives on the seat of her pants, you know? She's made some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Oh, this is very cool. It's so cool to see this in like the better graphics too, you know? I mean, it's still fuzzy, obviously. But it's clearer fuzzy. And look at those jellies. Let me down. Deeper <coughs> I go. This seems like a terrible idea also. I feel like it could pulse me to death, you know? Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could just send a pulse and fry my systems. Although it did say, the other people said that most of their electrical stuff was good. Just not the critical stuff to get them out. So I could just die down here. This is so surreal. I just jumped off the edge in the water and I'm yeah, see floating down. Just yet. This is so surreal to be underwater in my space game. <laughs> Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Just find Leviathan, NBD. I mean, it's below me somewhere. Whoa. Whatever it is, is right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, baby. I am but a wee human out of my element. It's so loud. I'm just taking my headphones off. <laughs> through the last thing like it's 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 a it's a bridge between us and is right like he's interacted with Anne and I've interacted with Anne the galaxy's at war with the reverse you defeated one why aren't you fighting back there is no war there is only the harvest then help us stop it none have possessed the strength in past cycles your own species can be destroyed with a single thought directions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign, the fall of the Collectors, the Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. 
I'm just a little guy, but I got a lot of heart. And you're gonna make my brain explode. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We were more powerful than they were cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. <laughs> bits and pieces of this but the details of it I'm like holy cow and like dude, when I first did this when I first played Master because it was the first time I played Master Effect 3 and I played this DLC with it I was blown out of the water <laughs> almost literally because we're in the water hey <laughs> finger guns <laughs> but like it's mind blowing like this guy this entity is one of the is the original species right and they fell into the trap that the other species did, right? They created machines or an AI of some sort, and eventually it overthrows it. And we'll we'll see more later. We'll see more why. I I remember the reasons why, but we'll see. You built that machine despite what you see? saw other races experience. Yeah. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. It's very true. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. It does serve its purpose. It's the, the justification it comes up with is wild. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of bonds that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning, no reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter, only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image, our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. It's wild that this entity has been able to keep track of that. Over. And us, us, like our cycle was just fifty thousand from the Protheans to us, right? And then like you go back even further, this is like the origin point, right? Like these guys are millennia, beyond millennia old, Billi billions of millennia old. I don't know exactly the timeline, but how did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their brother. Oh. Cycles the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. 
This guy is handsome, by the way. I don't know what it is. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait. The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest. The I can't be down here. Release me. No one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. It will, my guy. I have to believe that at this point. After everything she's seen, right? After seeing Thessia fall. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. At least let me go. Even if you don't want to do anything. Are my eyes bleeding too? That's horrifying. Hey. I, oh my gosh, I forgot there were more down there. Also, the progeny, these aren't even the original no Reapers. These are. Earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. No victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. Okay, weirdo. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. I don't know what we are unleashing our pots of the galaxy, honestly, with that. Uh, truly, especially because they see themselves as the apex and everybody else as lesser. Uh, it's one of those, like, I think, releasing the Kraken type things to, to save yourself from, like, I don't know, pirates? Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of, like, uh, there's a Tamora Pierce book, right, where she releases a Kraken to save themselves from, like, an onslaught of, like, pirates and an invading army. But it's like, you know, have we released something worse in order to survive? Also, we would have definitely needed to, like, do the whole pressurization on the way up thing. Please hurry up and do the thing you said you would do. I've definitely got the bends right now, and also blood in my brain. I mean, my brain is bleeding. They are like, I am always saving this woman. Reapers got their abilities from their original creators, so the mind stuff is definitely well within their purview. Look at that! I don't know how they. No, I don't like that. Damn it, we got a Reaper inbound! Oh, let's see what happens! Let's see what happens! Oh my gosh, please don't mess up, cutscene. Oh, baby, this is staticky as heck. I feel like everything's messing up. Oh, this is running so slow. Oh no, <laughs> we're just a little shuttle. Shepard, goddess, she's freezing. <coughs> what is going on outside my ship right now? Hurting my ears. We're lucky we 
got your back. Yeah, you are, buddy. I don't even know. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. That'll be weird. Well, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. We proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. Hack it! She's indoctrinated! Take care, Ann. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Hack it! I mean, she's kind of indoctrinated by a kind of ally, but oh boy. I I finished reading your report. Yeah. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. it. No, uh, truly. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. Which I think does matter a lot to know where they began. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. I think there's some stuff that happens, like, if you haven't done Thessia, there's, like, where you're like, what? And, like, you, like, ask, like, options to ask, like, I don't know, like, silly little questions or something. Um, that the, the Leviathan's like, oh, you're, you're a moron. The Leviathan enthrallment team, I hope that means they're, you know, working against the enthrallment and not enthralled. <laughs> Truly, though, it, it's interesting. I forgot that these are not the original original reaper race right they're the they're the children essentially i'm like how do you even reproduce but um they're the children of the original one so it's like how so i guess that's the thing is they haven't at uh, that entity hasn't been out there for like this particular entity hasn't been out there for like billions of millennia but like how long do they live they probably live a really long time um but still they're not the originals but they have they, because they're like the telepathic sort of nature of like their species apparently I'm sure they would get you know memories from their parents that survived and then you know what they've seen over the millennia passed on down to their children I guess how many there's probably like I don't know 10 how do you have a viable population on that there's no way there's enough out there to like I just I mean the deeps are scary again Pacific Rim who knows what's down there <laughs> I mean not aliens but you know what I mean <laughs> You could hide a bunch of aliens down there if you wanted to. Oh, there we go. That was a big chunk. Let's see. Leviathan Enthrallment Team 400. A mixed species team of special operative soldiers, operation soldiers, have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim to make the Reaper creatures thralls of the Leviathans. On a small scale, this could cause chaos and disruption. On a large scale, and if given enough time, it could form an army of Reaper creatures dedicated to exterminating their own kind. The team's major limiting factors are the small number of artifacts and the reluctance of Alliance commanders to operate openly with such a potent weapon for fear the Reapers might develop a countermeasure. I was going to say, once these guys got involved, I feel like the the Reapers would fear their or their their not their creators their origin more than anything else, right? So like truly even more than Shepard, right? So it's like, yeah, <laughs> they would be hard pressed, I think, to keep the original ones alive. They the original species. The I guess Leviathan. We'll call them Leviathans. She retains most of her mental faculties. Her research into paleo technology. Paleo technology. She studied Rachni. The laws of high energy phoenix that reaper, reapers seem to ignore. That was a good chunk of stuff. Isn't that a cool DLC though? Like, it's it totally blows, truly blows history out of the water for the game. The lore in game is. That everything started because of a jerk wad species who it's kind of similar like right like it's very similar to the Protheans, but it seems like because of the way the cycles work 
they are constructed to work along particular lines and so a species that is apt at seeing itself as the apex predator and enthralling or subjugating the rest of them is uh, seems to sort of be the the habit for the cycles right and we know that technology is uh, the reapers have already said right that they've like seeded the galaxy with their te- with this technology that we called protein technology and is actually older um, in order to, I don't know if they've actually said this yet, but they've done it, <laughs> in order to uh, make sure that, that civilization grows along certain a certain path um, and makes it easier for them to sort of predict the outcomes of the of this 50,000 year cycles, right? Um, and that the technology progresses down permitted pathways, essentially. Like, we could have apparently come up with a variety of ways to do things, but when you find a shortcut, you're going to take it, right? And nobody looks into how they work, and and then you're just like, oh, it's actually bad? Sick. <laughs> or it's not bad. It's used against you in this instance, right? Technology isn't necessarily bad on its own. That's how you use it. But... Oh, there's something, he didn't, the, the Leviathan didn't say it, but there's something that the Reapers say. Oh, I think that's actually late game. I think that's super late game. I'm not going to say that. Mm-mm-mm. But this, we need to put a pin in this information because it comes back. Come on, Beth. I'm just going to see if anybody, these two, have anything to say at least. Sorry, I'm chewing on a, chewing on a, what do you call this thing, a pin? A hairpin? Commander. All right, nothing on Leviathan then. So the Reapers did not fully okay. exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible. Yes. Even on large or long-term scales. No, and I think that's a good point. And the fact that Shepard brought up, like we know their origin point. And at some point, it was proposed to like study the Reapers to see if they had a starting point. Because when they say they say stuff like 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 sovereigns, like we have no beginning and we have no end. We are interminable. You know, we are forever. And so it makes it scary because you don't you can't comprehend it. But if something has a beginning, like Shepard says, it can have an end, right? So it's like scarier or it's less scary it's scarier if you don't know that <laughs> um everybody's back in their spot i do i'm gonna go poke javik and see if he gets a chat with somebody through his speakers no no chatting in the speakers i have studied your human religions commander Ooh. Your devil his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history to this day. I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. I mean, they they did get out. He would be super upset about it. That's true. He would not be happy with them. Commander. It's truly, it is their fault. Because, like, I don't know, they saw, they saw other sentient, the Leviathan species saw other species falling to, like, their machines and they were like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna build an even better. It's like one of those things, like I don't know. It's like those corporations or like the umbrella corporation and stuff that you see in fiction, but also kind of seeing in real life, where they're like, they're like, oh yeah, we don't want to make the mistakes that like super evil corporation TM made in fiction. So here we're gonna make essentially the same exact decision. How nice! And everyone's like, ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like no, I don't want to live in the evil corporate overlord sci-fi future. Thank you. You know what I mean? It just, it boggles my mind, especially that, like, what, rich people or groups of people, or, like, people who, like, groups that think they're superior, not just people, right? Not, like, modern-day people necessarily, but it is true for them, too. But, um, like, you look at the Leviathan species, right? And they're like, we are superior to everything and everyone, and we made this thing, so therefore nothing will go wrong. And, like, over half our sci-fi stuff talks about how that's just so fat. We could go back to, we could go back to the, the, the queen the originator of sci-fi herself not necessarily but you know the queen of sci-fi herself Shelley Mary Shelley who made Frankenstein right and he made that he made his creation Dr. Frankenstein made his creation and then it backfired big time and it wasn't technology necessarily that was like a fear of like you know science some certain scientific advancements and like you know how far is too far and how far to go like how like to play God, you know what I mean? To, to create life, you know? And like, 
we were talking about earlier, Chacos and Adams was talking about like is there is 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 mechanical life life, you know, like whatever, like is code essentially life in its own way. You know, we have to think outside the boundaries of like our biological constraints, you know? Uh super interesting stuff. But you know, I kinda lost track of that because I am getting tired. But anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. This is the end of the Leviathan DLC, by the way. We are done. The only DLC we have left is the Shore Leave DLC. And we can't do that. We can't do that. Oop, oop. We are we are getting there. We're, I mean, we are sort of hurtling towards the end at this point. I believe we do Horizon. And then we do Citadel, I think. Honestly, after that is when we really start getting to the point of no return which is wild because I've been really wanting to finish this game before Veilguard comes out and uh, like this game at least but I definitely want to finish Baldur's Gate 3 as well but it just feels interminable like I'm never going to finish it um, but I'm like Mass Effect I can finish Mass Effect you know? <laughs> so it feels good that I will hopefully be able to do that but anyway thank you all again for joining me I appreciate it really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.